Aloha everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name's Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. You guys, I worked out two times today. I'm feeling sore and like a total gym. I feel so healthy and uh, sore. <laughs> Just trying to be as overly healthy as I can before I go back into another depressive episode. <laughs> I'm so stoked for this reaction video because I'm going to be reacting to Kaya Gerber's skincare routine. Now, first off, let me say, you guys are gonna think I'm a fucking idiot if you don't think so already. I have had a conversation with Kaya Gerber. She is so sweet and my dumbass did not know that she is the daughter of Cindy Crawford. I only knew her because she's a really successful model and she's in one of the greatest TV shows of all time, American Horror Story. I didn't know that she's the daughter of Cindy Crawford. I don't even know what universe I've been in. But she recently did a skincare routine with Vogue and I'm super excited to watch it. She has been so sweet to me in the past and I think it's gonna be really cool just to see what she uses because being a model, you have to make sure that your self-care is on point. And I'm super excited to see what she uses on her face every single day. The routine is called Kaya Gerber's Guide to Face Sculpting and Sun-Kissed Makeup. Face sculpting sounds interesting. That can entail a lot and I'm really interested to see what she uses. So let's get into it. If you don't know me, I've worked as a specialist but I'm not licensed as or a dermatologist, nor do I ever claim to be. That is not my personal path. However, if you are having any major skin concerns, please go see your esthetician or dermatologist to get that shit treated. These videos are for fun, for entertainment's sake, and just for me to, you know, give my perspective on some of the products that some of our favorite celebrities use. Hey, I'm Kaya Gerber, and today I'm gonna walk you Ugh, through my brows on everyday point. skincare routine and makeup look. First step, you to the people's <gasps> Oh! Oh my god! I have my little Celine scrunchie that I love. Yes! Oh my god, we are starting off this routine so freaking strong. I'm obsessed with that cleanser. If you guys have watched like literally any of my videos, I talk about that cleanser all the freaking time. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, I'm already loving this routine. Kaya, I'm loving this already. So I just kind of gently massage this into my face. I use this morning and night, but okay. if I have makeup on or I've had a long day or sunscreen or something, I use first like a to take off my makeup. Yes. I'm going with this. Good. The best way to remove makeup or sunscreen is with a cleansing balm. I know a lot of people think that you only need to use a first cleanse or a cleansing balm if you wear makeup, but honestly, if you wear a lot of sunscreen, we all should be. I highly recommend using a product like a cleansing balm just to be able to remove all that sunscreen before you go in with your water-based cleanser. Uh, that's impressive that she uses it both morning and night. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that she probably has more oily skin. That cleanser does a really good job of removing all the dirt and excess sebum from your skin. I personally find it a little bit too strong to use every single day, twice a day. I'll usually use it at night after really humid days or if my skin just has a lot of buildup. So the fact that she can use it twice a day consistently for a long time is, is impressive and I think that probably probably means that she has more oily skin, but we'll see. I've always had kind of like medium skin. I feel like everyone goes through stages growing up that you have sort of hormonal acne and um, mm. that can really affect your confidence. It definitely affected mine, especially because I was working. So like not only did I have to go to school, oh, yeah. visit, but I also had to go and do shows sometimes with bad skin. Um, but I'm really appreciative of this time, kind of the year that I've had off because I've been able to oh, cool. sort of evolve with my skincare routine and figure out a more updated version. So that's what you're seeing now. Nice. I love it. I didn't even realize that she took a year off, but good for her. I mean, the industry that she's in can be really, really demanding and like freaking suck all your confidence away. So honestly, good for her. We need to normalize taking breaks. Well, shit, I need to normalize taking breaks. I need to tell myself that more. So next up is this. <gasps> oh my I'm God. Like choice. I used to be very into exfoliating. And oh my gosh. My and I have learned now that you can exfoliate gently with toners. So yes. Oh my God. This routine is so good so far. Oh my God. I am obsessed with these products that she's using. These are literally like my favorite products of all time. That's the Paul's Choice 2% BHA solution. I love that product. It is so amazing. I always call it like the miracle product because every time I use it when I wake up in the morning, I'm like, what happened to my skin? Where did my pores go? Where did all the dirt go? It's seriously an amazing product. Um, based off of her using that, I'm gonna say she definitely has oily skin because if she's using both the Use of the People Cleanser and the Paul's Choice 2% BHA solution, that, that is, you know, that's definitely gonna get rid of the excess sebum on her face. She's using it over her entire face. Um, You don't need to use a cotton round. You can totally just put a little bit in your hand and then just push it into your skin. I will say she did say that it's a gentle exfoliant. I personally don't think that's necessarily a gentle exfoliant. 
2% salicylic acid is the highest concentration of salicylic acid that you can find in over-the-counter products. And for a lot of people, that formula can tend to be a little bit strong. I will say that it's way too strong for me to use every single day or every night. I can only use that one maybe once or twice a week because it is really intense. So I wouldn't say it's necessarily a gentle product. However, it is a very, very effective product. Wow, this routine is magical so far. I, I, I'm obsessed. You know, that's interesting. She's saying she has sensitive skin. I mean, I would say if she can use both the Youth of People Cleanser and the Paul's Choice Toner, those are pretty strong products. So I'd say her skin is pretty resilient. She might have sensitivities to certain types of ingredients, but like she said, she sometimes gets breakouts. If you're someone who struggles with breakouts, I highly recommend checking out the Paul's Choice 2% BHA solution. It's, it's really, really bomb for that. This, I swear by, is niacinamide. <gasps> it is one of my favorite ingredients of all time. It has yes! Time. So I just put a couple of drops. Girl, I am obsessed with Literature. this. What is this magical routine I am watching? I swear to God, this routine is so good so far. She goes in with the Paula's Choice Niacinamide Booster. I will say it does have a lot of niacinamide. I personally am not really comfortable using that much niacinamide on my face. However, the fact that she's using both a salicylic acid-based product and a niacinamide product shows that she knows her shit about taking care of her pores, taking care of breakouts. Both of those ingredients I'm constantly recommending to you guys as great ways to be able to help with that problem. But overall, niacinamide is just a bomb ingredient that I think everyone should be utilizing in their skincare routine. Kaya knows her stuff about skincare. I, I'm really loving this so far. Personally, I don't feel that concentration of niacinamide is necessary. From data, we know that 5% niacinamide is the amount you need to see results. And sometimes overexposure to certain ingredients can push your skin into the sensitivity range. However, if she hasn't noticed any adverse effects to the product, then I don't think there's a problem with it. However, if you're someone who wants to utilize niacinamide, you don't need to go for the high highest concentration of niacinamide out there. 5% niacinamide is totally fine. That's personally why when it came to developing my own moisturizer with niacinamide, I specifically wanted to use 5% to be able to match data samples because you really don't need a higher percentage than that. However, I love Paula's Choice. I love niacinamide. I love that she's incorporating it into her routine and she applied it correctly. She didn't touch the dropper to her hand. Great, great stuff. I am in love. I'm blushing. This routine is coming from my heart. Now this I love. It's just an eye Ooh. repair oil. So I just kind of roll oh, it okay. on underneath my eyes. Oh, it's in a roller. And just gently rub it in. I am not someone who can hide being tired. You will Same. know upon seeing Same. whether I've slept or not immediately. I can't fake it. So I've really had to learn how to take care of my under eyes, which I didn't think was something I would have to do very young, but I in fact do. Good. My mom has always taken such good care of her skin and so I kind of picked up things from her. So she's always just been very conscious of what she's putting on her skin and one of the things she taught me is to handle your dentistry yes. and yes. don't forget All about your the chest, way down. especially with sunscreen. I try to bring products sort of down and then that way you're not wasting them either. I feel like she has one of the best mentors in the world when it comes to taking care of your skin. Like honestly, Cindy Crawford looks amazing. To have her as a resource, oh, I'm so jealous. I wish I would have known about skincare when I was that young. So props to her, that's amazing. I don't know that product. It says it's an eye repair oil. I'm personally not a fan of rollerballs for skincare products because it is coming into regular contact with your skin and bacteria can adhere to the rollerball formula. And because it's constantly rolling back and forth in the formula itself, it can introduce bacteria and potentially cause stability issues, but I want to look at these ingredients. Okay, it's $68. <laughs> That's a little expensive for an eye product. I personally wouldn't pay that much for an eye product, but let's look at these ingredients. Oh shoot, it doesn't have the full ingredient list. Well, it says it has brown seaweed. Oh, it's sourced from the same location that we source our sea kelp from for Selfless by Hiram. So that's really, really cool. Seaweed sea kelp is amazing for the skin. Great for reducing redness, it's antioxidant abilities, hydration. There's a bunch of benefits to it. Okay, so this also has vitamin C esters. That that does make me a little bit concerned for the stability of the product because of the rollerball issue. So this product could go bad easily, but also as squalane and cucumber extract, great ingredients for the under eye area. Um, I wish I could see the full ingredient list, but from the highlighted ingredients it has, this product looks pretty good. My only complaint is that it is a rollerball. I feel like skincare is one form of meditation for me. Like I know yes, I, I completely agree. It's in the morning and night that I'm just doing something for myself. So I find that to be very relaxing. I've also, like I meditate a lot. I love oh, crystals, I'm very into crystals, which you will see. I activate my crystals and I put them out on full oh, okay. and also in the sunshine. So I do that also with my face rollers that are crystal. I like to activate those as well. Oh, now that okay. my face kind of has some oil on it, um, 
I like to go in with one of oh, these guys. Oh, gua sha. And this is also charged. So you know me, you know all of my crystals are charged, even my face ones. So this is charged. And I just sort of use this. I haven't seen a gua sha that's shaped specifically like that. It's a very interesting one, but it'd be nice for all the grooves to get in all the different areas of your face. And this also is something I developed having early mornings. Like my face takes a long time to wake up. My face wakes up three hours after me. So this is something that kind of helps get the blood flowing in the morning. I can never film in the morning because every single time I do, my eyes are so puffy that it's super noticeable. It takes me forever for like the puffiness in my face to go down. Honestly, maybe I should get into gua sha. It's been a consideration, something I've done in the past. I just, there's not a lot of data for gua sha, but at the same time, it's been around for thousands of years. So there has to be something to it, you know? I think it's just because like in the morning, I'm like, go, go, go. Quick skincare routine, get out the door because I'm usually late, but I should incorporate gua then I go in for the second roller. Wow. Crazy. Okay, a jade roller. It feels wow, so I am so I lazy. I would not be able to do that. So when I use them in the morning, they're nice and cool. It's also just like little practices like this that are good for your mental health and mm -hmm. the fact that I'm taking time to like, you know. Yep. Probably no one will know that I did this except for me, but. Those are sometimes the best little practices that we have. I found I would get really lonely in hotel rooms. And I started working at a really young age. So having things like routines that I could bring with mm. me around the world made me feel a lot more comfortable and safe. So that's why I developed a skincare routine because it was something familiar that I would do Aww. every night when I got home. Like no matter what I had, no matter the work that I had, I know that I had this sort of. And, um, and that's kind of what prompted me to start taking care of or better care of my skin. I love that so much. Uh, that's so cool. I, I, I can't relate to, you know, the amount of work and travel that she has to do. But I will say in, you know, the short time I've been able to, you know, be on this website called YouTube and, you know, traveling and spending a lot of times in hotels, it does get really lonely when you're working nonstop all day, every single day on the go and you're by yourself. It can feel a little hectic, like you don't have anything stable and normal to really rely on. And it can get kind of easy to feel a little bit depressed. So I love that. Again, it's bringing it back to what skincare is all about. About, which is taking care of yourself and it should be a meditative peaceful enjoyable experience so i love that she's talking about that my favorite moisturizer same brand as my cleanser youth to the people so take just a little bit i just flatlined y'all oh my god this has to be the best skincare routine I have ever reacted to. I have no one here to share my excitement. Oh my God, the skincare routine is so good, you guys. This is so freaking good. I love that moisturizer. I recommend it all the time on my channel. It's so good because it's a lightweight consistency that really deeply moisturizes the skin and it utilizes adaptogens, which are great for reducing inflammation, irritation, and sensitivity, which works great for her skin. I have no words, y'all. This routine is, is magical. Wow. Kaya, I am so impressed. Like, what the heck? This is the best day ever. It's almost midnight, but I know I'm going to be wired until 2 a.m. just from the excitement that I'm getting from this video. I love that she applies like the right That's amount too. I talk about it in my video called why your moisturizer is not working. A lot of times we tend to use way more moisturizer than we actually need when in reality you only need to use about a pea to blueberry size amount and she uses a great amount for her skin. I did worry a little bit about potentially her skin being a little bit overly stripped because she goes in with Youth to the People Cleanser and the Paula's Choice Toner. That moisturizer provides a lot of moisture to the skin and I think it's just a really incredible product and it's good to see you're balancing out that moisture so bravo Kaya I love this I love you this is amazing last step on the face is sunscreen sunscreen oh okay even if you're not outside it's just important to wear your sunscreen every day um you don't want to age faster than you need to yes another thing I learned from my mom sunscreen here sunscreen here every single day even when it's cloudy yes and I grew up in Malibu so the sun is Pretty much always shining. <laughs> I love how she applies it. Um, so that personal sunscreen, I personally wouldn't use because I don't use any chemical UV filters. I prefer to use mineral filters. However, I understand why so many people love that formula. It's definitely a really cool silicone based formula that smooths out the skin. It really makes applying sunscreen a nice experience. I, I get why it's so popular. I will say I would recommend that she uses a little bit more. I don't know how much she squeezed out in total, but based off of the amount she put on our fingers before, it's not very much. And I usually recommend using about like a quarter size amount of sunscreen 
on your face, you definitely want to be really, really, really generous. So that's my main thing. This is the one product in the routine that like I personally wouldn't use or recommend. However, totally understand why people love it. And the most important thing is that you're wearing a sunscreen every single day. And I love that she wears it even when it's cloudy. Still loving this, still here for this routine. And it's funny because the one thing I get from makeup artists the most is that my face is 10 shades lighter than my body. <laughs> I never know what makeup to put on my face because as you can see, my body's a lot darker than my face, but that's because I'm wearing my sunscreen. I feel that it's the same exact now, thing. Now, another product that I love is this lip sleeping mask. Oh, okay. And wow. Really popular face. lip mask. I, I feel it. like it's in every single celebrity skincare routine. I've talked about it a lot before, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. I think it's a fine product. Do I think that does an amazing job at moisturizing the skin? No, I actually recommend you apply your moisturizer before you put that on because that's going to be more of a seal over top and not really provide moisture to your lips, but more so just help your moisturizer better sink in and stay put. So is it a product I personally like using? No, but I don't think it's a bad product so long as you're using it correctly. Directly, and you just want to make sure that you're applying moisturizer before you go in with that lip mask. I am speechless. That by far is the best skincare routine I have ever seen. And yes, I may be a little bit biased because I love all those products, but that routine was so freaking good. She went in with all the necessary steps. She went in with her cleanser, her treatment, her moisturizer, and her sunscreen. The way she applied all the products was great. All the tips that she gave were totally on point. Clearly knows what she's doing when it comes to skincare. I am just so impressed. I loved this routine. Honestly, guys, this has to be the best routine I've ever reacted to. Uh, Kaya, I love you. This was amazing. Thank you for sharing your routine. What do you guys think though? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. I had so much fun watching this. This literally made my night. And selfishly, I hope that she uploads a nighttime skincare routine because I would totally watch the hell out of that if it's anything like this routine. Let me know who you guys want me to react to next. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and to the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. And I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah.